Welcome to A Simple Life. I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you for joining us today. I am going to feed my goats real quick. Just takes a few minutes. We're gonna cut down some brush and stuff for our goats so they have some feed. I came in here last night and did the same thing. I try to do it every night if I have you know time. If I Tomorrow night I'm probably not gonna have time because I have a bunch of meetings tomorrow. I'm gonna put down a little extra today, but uh, we're gonna get back here, cut down a bunch, and actually there's still some in here from last night. So I may not have to do that much. I may just need to remind the goats where the feed's at. And in that case, it's pretty easy to do. I start up a chainsaw and they come running. So let's get that going. We'll start up a chainsaw. There's a couple trees back over there I was taking a look at last night that are ideal for dropping on top of a bunch of blackberry. So I'll probably get that done right now. And then we're gonna go up and I think we're gonna do some work on the garden. I've been thinking about some stuff and I have a plan for the garden for this fall and winter. It's not exactly the plan that I think I originally had, but it'll, it'll do. I think, I, think, I think it'll get us where we wanna go by the end of winter. Let's, let's feed these goats. Now, yesterday I came in and you can see there's still a bunch of hazelnut and there's some maple back on the other side of those hazelnuts back over there. They're still on the ground ready to be eaten. The goats didn't get to those, but I'm not going to worry about that. The goats will get to them when they're ready to get to them. Uh, there's not really that much really sitting there that hasn't been eaten. There's a bit, but not too much. And there's a little over there too. A couple trees laying on the ground, or parts of trees are laying on the ground right over there. So I'm gonna come over. I'm not gonna do a crazy amount because they did do a lot of, they did clear quite a bit for me. So we'll take a look at what they cleared and then we'll go back to that spot that I was looking at. So they got in here yesterday and did quite a number on the trees that I dropped yesterday. They didn't get that, that's a little too high for them, but they got all this stuff. Did a pretty good job. Let's go find that area I saw yesterday. I saw an area yesterday that looked perfect for kind of the management practice that I do which is try to use the the trees as much as possible to create pressure on the blackberry bramble so that way the goats have access to the blackberry bramble because sometimes that blackberry bramble gets pretty tall so we're not going to do a heck of a lot i'm basically just going to remind the goats where i want them to eat from which won't take much doing because this is our this is the maple we're going to work on today right here we're not going to do a lot. The idea is to get some of this maple down on top of this blackberry here and over there and some down there. And if we can do that, we can start work, working farther in to this area. But I think for right now, we're just going to take a few cuttings off of this tree right here and just plop them right on top of that blackberry and that should do exactly what we need. Let's get it done and our goats will be fed. Well, it sounds like my goats are back. This area is actually really quite steep. It doesn't look like it, but it's really, really quite steep. Matter of fact, right there on the other side of this bramble, it drops, drops off about 10 feet. So it gets really steep right there. Anyways, Oh, there's a dog. Anyways, we just cut this down. We dropped all that on the blackberry bramble. That'll help a lot. Get them in here and eating that. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have a dead, looks like a dead cherry right there. We're gonna drop that over on some of this other blackberry bramble. Probably not today. And over here, I have a dead maple stand. And we'll drop that this way probably just to get it on the ground so it starts decomposing. And just keep working through this area 
as we go you can see there's some cherries and other stuff back in here we'll have to work our way down through this ravine i had an interesting conversation today with our local forester so i sent him an email and he gave me a call today and we chatted for a while and the conversation was about doing some logging as well as how i'm managing this back or the south 40 of the 80 acres told him what i was doing and he was super happy he goes he is you know once this fire season's over he's like i really want to come and see what you're doing and kind of see the results you're getting and i said great i'd love for you to come see what i'm doing uh because any input is good and then i kind of started thinking about it and i realized well this area has only been settled for the last hundred years you know i'm going to continue doing what i'm doing and just kind of trying to open up the canopies make it so my dug furs can do the best they possibly can and make it so my animals have feed as well as keep the blackberry bramble to the ground i really want to keep the bramble four feet and lower um, because it allows me to have my goats really manage it and i don't need to come in here and spray or bring machinery or any of that once i'm done setting this up and getting this running it's going to be great until i log it in another 25 years or so but look at this i want to show you this i want to show you this ravine below me so to give you an idea the bottom of this ravine down here is probably 35 feet lower than i am currently just to give you some depth to give let you understand how steep this can get and my goats are up there along that top of that ridge and they're eating the area i cut up yesterday for them and they are probably 25 feet higher than I currently am. That doesn't mean it's not good land to run goats, to manage, to have timber on. It's all good land. It's just what I do with it. All right, well, enough of that. Let's go take care of the garden. So we're in the garden and it's time to harvest a few things. It's time to harvest our potatoes for one thing. They've died back, almost everything's on the ground. There's a few that have some stems up in the air. Those I may skip or I may just harvest them anyway. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a fall garden and you're like, well, you, uh, why not? Well, here's why. I have a lot of projects right now. One of the projects is I really want to build my beds and figure out exactly what my beds are going to be looking like and how I'm going to structure them. And so because that's one of the things I'm going to be working on, I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to spend the winter kind of laying out the plans, figuring out exactly what I want to do. The other thing I need to do is I need to start removing my onions. My onions are ready to be removed and they need to cure. So between getting some of the kale out, probably uh, about a third of the kale is going to be coming out. The potatoes, get the onions out and uh, we'll just keep going like that. Now, I'm still going to have stuff in here, probably most of the way through winter. The leeks and the Brussels sprouts will stay in here until they're ready. Uh, some of the other stuff will probably come out so there's going to be some stuff i'm still going to put a little bit of garden in i'm going to be doing some test some lettuces some stuff like that i'm going to be doing a few test runs of a few different varieties but overall i'm not really going to be putting in a garden i'm just going to clean this one out and we'll get ready for next year we'll start prepping getting beds formed and all that kind of stuff all right let's get some of these potatoes harvested
traditional fungal root systems. I think that's a wrap. So this is the last half a bucket. So we got three of these completely full plus this, and then we still have our potato towers. So we have no idea what the potato towers are going to yield. All I know is those plants have gone absolutely gangbusters. So I'm gonna assume they're gonna do really good. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. Appreciate you, have a good day, bye.